what's happening in the forex market today good morning everybody how are you doing it's a pleasure to have you here and today is the 15th of february and yes a lot has been happening especially with respect to the geopolitical tension the inflation and of course yesterday we saw the us dollar push higher from friday's close but then i want us to quickly have a quick discussion on the geopolitical tensions coming up between russia and ukraine as we all know russia happens to be the world's third largest oil producing nation and if this conflict should get worse it's going to lead it will easily lead to shortage in supply of the crude now what do you think will happen to the crude now if we quickly look at the chart of crude i'm going to just throw the chart of crude up here for us to have a look at and if you look at crude over here you see that crude so far so good has been appreciating and more or less has gotten to all-time highs right just shy of the 94 dollars per barrel you can see the chart of crude how it has been appreciating and of course we have this area here as the major area of support even also around here also as a support but the thing now with crude now is that if you look it seems to be falling uh forming a rising wedge over here as it's forming a rising wedge another thing we need to also pay attention is the fact that if things should get worse the supply is going to drop the demand of course it will be higher and then we should see about a hundred dollars per barrel but then that means that this pattern that we have here might not hold so we have to see what is going to happen right but looking at all we have in front of us this is what we have and then the crude should be poised to get to 87 uh, 0.50 dollars or to get to 83.50 dollars right so these are the key areas to watch on the daily time frame but once again we need to pay close attention to what's happening in that region of course you know nato are involved and of course the us are also involved will there be sanctions right only time will tell another thing you need to also understand that this will obviously make the inflation right because the inflation is all over the world now and of course it's it's getting higher and higher and the tensions would only make inflation to get higher so we need to pay attention to this as it is very very key very very important now apart from that one quickly keep an eye on the euro usd I want to keep an eye on the euro usd from the hourly time frame this is what we have here on the euro usd and what i'm expecting is a breakout of this level here you can see that price has been filling a lot of areas here especially after it broke out from this range right we talked about this yesterday as well you can watch the previous video after it broke out of this range and then it pulled back now it seems to be going uh, uh lower and lower as it's going lower you notice that it seems to be forming some lower highs along the way as well so expect some lower highs here and then this area being a key area a flip zone right here is a flip zone and a flip zone is an area where you have resistance resistance and then support and you can see it has also acted as support here but if this area should break that is the 1.1280 area then it should now act as resistance and then drop further down so areas to pay attention to is the 1.12 uh 1.1280 marker and of course if you should push back to 1.1370 that means that the bulls have taken uh might probably have taken back their control but we have to pay attention to this and see how this unfolds further now just to flip through a few other instruments out there that we're paying attention don't forget as we've been talking about crude you also need to pay attention to the dollar card but one thing i've noticed about this dollar card for a while now is that it has been looking very very dirty right even up to the weekly time frame it has been looking really really dirty you can't really pick out a trend the directional bias over here but uh at the same time if you look at what we have we have the highs here that has been tested about here here and here as well and then we have a medium point here if you look closely i'm going to mark these areas here 
will be tested as resistance, resistance, support, support, resistance, uh, resistance, support. You can see what we're doing here. This is simply support and resistance uh, in its finest. So if you look at what we have here, this is the medium point and you can see price has already said to push higher from here. But if it breaks out, expect this area to act as uh, a resistance and continue the flip zone and then drop lower to these areas of interest here. These are other areas here, as you can see, lows acting as support. So all in all, you will need to train your eyes to be able to see these levels properly, right? I repeat, you need to train your eyes in order to see these levels properly. And gold, yes, we saw some explosive moves on the gold, uh, uh, precious metal on Friday. And this is what we're talking about, right? We had this strong run up to here. And then what are we going to see next? I repeat, what are we going to see next on the gold? If you notice, it keeps on appreciating, making newer highs, right? For this time frame, 30 minutes and even the one hour time frame. But then we need a proper retest. As we need a proper retest, if you look closely as well, it seems we have some type of rising wedge as well. In this manner, we have some type of rising wedge. So this is an area of interest. It's a good area to watch over here if you can get some price action. Another thing you need to also pay attention, this is a counter trend move, obviously. And then you could always add your RSI. For those that use probably the RSI or MACDs, you could add your RSI as a form of confluence. Well, truth be told, I personally might not need to draw or put up the RSI indicator because with this move here, you can easily uh, start to tell that this is looking over bought and then it will be time to sell. So this is the area to pay attention to. And of course, the first key area would be around this 1865 marker, around this 1865 marker. And then we'll see whether we have a bounce from here or maybe a proper and full breakout we test here and then drop to this 1850 marker, right? So these are the key areas to watch on this gold. Yes, on the precious metal, the shiny metal, gold so pay attention to this video please watch it over and over again we also have some key areas here that are yet to be tested as uh, support if you look here we have this area and this was the area that price bounced off from on friday right you can see that it kept on bouncing or bouncing off and then over here it took off to the highs right but then we need to pay attention as price still needs to do a proper retest and this is where you could also have some feed traders that could do some drawings such as this from the lows here all the way to the highs. That means that if you have feed traders doing this, all they are simply doing is waiting for that what? Waiting for that deep retracement to 38.2 or 50 or maybe even 61.8 for them to look for opportunities to go long on this gold right now there are lots of instruments here to be talked about but i'm going to call it a day here and of course if anything comes up in the market then of course i would always update that and then give you more heads up as to what's happening but please everybody pay attention to what's happening in the market later today by 1 30 pm uk time we have the producer price index the ppi coming up for the usd so expect volatility possible volatility across the usd pair across the major currency pairs right especially so ensure also not to chase the market let the market produce opportunities and then you just take them accordingly according to your trading plan that means that we must all have a trading plan at the end of the day i wish everybody best of luck ensure to trade safely and if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out and of course also uh, uh if the video was helpful give it a thumbs up thank you guys enjoy the rest of the day and trade safely goodbye